the Berenstain Bears, and the Missing Money Honey. Papa's Blackberry Honey is not in a jar. Whoever took it cannot have gone far. We'll find it, Papa, Sister Bear said. Then Brother Bear whistled for Cousin Fred. Cousin Fred came with his sniffer hound, Snuff. He also had their detective stuff. The bear detectives looked all around. Here are some of the clues they found. Some fur, some wax, and a bit of cloth that was red and yellow. Great, said Papa. These clues will help us find the fella. Ask Owl, said Mama. It's my belief he might very well have seen the thief. Toot toot, said Papa. What can he say? Why that sleepy old owl sleeps all day. That's when Snuff started sniffing the air. He's on to scent, shouted Papa Q Bear. Snuff smelled blackberries when he sniffed at the scent. Roof, said Snuff, and away they went. Be careful now, said Papa Bear. That honey thief could be anywhere. Ah, the scent is coming from right over there. Oh no, said Sister. Wait, Papa, stop. That is Bear Town's fancy shop. But Papa and Snuff burst in a room where the fancy shop sold blackberry perfume and many of other kinds as well. What a mess, what a smell. Excuse me, madam. Sorry about that. Come, cubs, said Papa, and he tipped his hat. Our search for the thief has just begun. The honey thief could be anyone. The butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker. Hmm, yes indeed, the candlestick maker. Fair detectives, you may relax. The key to the crime is our bit of wax. Then Papa and Snuff dashed into the store, right past a gone fishing sign on the front door. There's no one here, said Cousin Fred, but another big mess to clean up instead. The detectives were stumped, but then on a breeze came a scent so strong it made Snuff sneeze. Look at that shirt, it's red and yellow, just like the clue from the robber fella. But Papa said, brother, that's not the shirt of he. The clothes on that line are the clothes of a she. Son, it wouldn't matter if it were my own mother. A thief's a thief, said Papa to brother. Then the crook of a cane came out from a wall. It tripped Papa up and made Papa fall. I've something to tell you. Papa, said brother, this is Grizzly Grange Place. She is your own mother. Again, no honey, in spite of a clue, Snuff had sniffed Grand's blackberry stew. So they headed home, tired and sad, and three bear detectives, Snuff and Dad. But wait, he snuffed once more, picked up a scent, up the front steps on the tree house he went. Up to the bedroom where Mom and Pa slept and to the drawer where Pa's things were kept. What is it? Caught, cried Fred. What is it, old fella? Snuff held up his held up something that was red and yellow. Hmm, said Fred. How strange, how funny. The pajama top smells like blueberry honey. Here, said brother, let me have a look. The bit of cloth matches was Papa's the cook. Was Papa the crook. Clues do not lie, Sister Bear said. 
Look, the fur matches too, whispered Cousin Fred. Me the thief? That's crazy, cried Pa, with a howl. That's when they heard from sleepy old owl. I saw the whole thing. I can put everything right. I saw Papa walk in his sleep last night. He carried a candle down to the shed, drank up the honey, and went back to bed. I did dare wake him. His sleep was so deep. Then I wasn't the thief. I walked in my sleep. The case is solved. No case is too tough. For a bear detectives and our good sniffer snuff. The end.